can see that this intro is a little bit different. I still love the uh, Dia de los Muertos uh, animations. And since it's May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo, I think it's totally okay. Well, today I want to do a small video that uh, has to do with uh, some basic uh, concepts in, in, in Construct 2. Or perhaps intermediate. I think you can do tons of things with Construct 2 without even noticing this or without even like having to bother much about it. Uh, but uh, perhaps it's going to, to, to help some people. So uh, I thought it would be cool. So this is an empty project that we have here. And I just open it. And this is exactly what you would have in your first game. That is a layout and an event sheet. So the first thing that, uh, well, let's suppose that I'm going to just do something really simple. I am just going to add some color over here. Uh, that's it. And this is going to, I'm going to make a bouncing square over here. So I am just going to put a, a bullet and make it bounce of solids and then I'm going to actually create a solid and that is going to be over here and this does not have anything to do with with what I really want to do is just to have something in the background so we can talk a little bit about it and and well to have a, a good example of what I, what you can do so I'm just going to put it over here over here and make this one a solid okay so super simple nothing weird nothing strange and now if I run it it's going to have something like that so simple right so now uh, this is going to be the layout so you have your layout here and if we have to add some logic then we go to the bench sheet that is over here and uh, let's say I don't know every every three seconds I am going to create another square and uh, on top of that I'm going to do the, uh, the angle of motion is a random angle from 0 to 360 okay so something like that so we're going to have at some point hundreds of of squares that apparently are appearing all, all the time here I should have made them somewhere else but hey whatever so the point is uh, that I want to talk today, what do you do with event sheets, how do you create some more and how do you include event sheets in, in, in different layouts. So let's suppose that I want a, a different level, okay? So I have several options. First one, it could be just add layout here on the, on the projects pane that we have here, add layout, I'm going to add it. And you can see that uh, you can add one that is completely um, uh, empty, so it does not have an, an event sheet, uh, or one that does have, or in this case I'm just going to say cancel. The other thing that I like to do is, let's suppose that I want to have a level that is almost the same as this one, okay? So I could, well, let's, let's do both options. So the first one, I'm going to add a layout, and I'm going to just add one that does not have an event sheet. So you have a lay layout too, right? Now, I want to do, I'm going to rename this one. I'm going to call it level one, level one, okay? What happens if I want to create a level two? And uh, the only thing that is different is going to be the shape of this, of this level. So I could say duplicate, right? And this one is going to be called level two. Now, if you click on every level, on every layout that you have here, you're going to see on the properties that it has an event sheet. So when you're duplicating, 
they are assuming that you are pointing to the same event sheet. So in this case, level one and level two point to this one. So that means that you could change things, how they look, but the logic is still going to be the same. Let's suppose that I'm going to do something like this for level two. That's it. And in level one, just to be able to to um, to go back to the other, well, to go to the other level, I am just going to add a button. And I'm going to do the laziest thing, even if it's going to be shared, and is the unclicked. Um, go to layout. That in this case is going to be level two. So that means that if I start here, you just have. Oh no! I guess this one. Oh, this is starting kind of like a wrong way. So uh, let me see event sheet. Uh, no, cancel. I'm sorry. I'm going to do this. I don't know. Hundred, hundred. So we don't have any problems with the corner. So it's going to be created over here something like that and randomly okay and now if I go to the second level I have exactly the same logic that is creating new squares new bouncing squares every uh, three seconds but the shape of course is different so you would have a different experience yes I know this is uh, not exactly the most interesting level or game or anything like that but it's it's a demo to uh, be able to explain what I'm doing now that's all fine and dandy like two layouts now what happens if i want a second well this layout that i created here it does not have any logic i could do something like that just with events uh, with the uh, behaviors i guess i guess it, it's not going to be the most complex uh, layout but well let's suppose that i have that now so how do you create then an event sheet for this simple just create it here and then you have to go to the layout since uh, this one did not have any event sheet uh, assigned. Um, and was not getting this one. Uh, event sheet two. Hmm, that's that's quite interesting. Why is not updating this one? Okay, and what if I have a I don't know a start? Does it have to do with that? On the start of layout, uh, what do I know? Create, create an object that it could be a sprite. What's it? I don't know now. Uh, if I go to layout, ah, oh, okay. There you go. That that's something that I haven't really tried before. To create an empty and then sheet and then to try to sign it to the layout. So it seems that you need to have at least an event there uh, to be able to do this kind of thing. So now on layout two, I want the event sheet two. That is, I, I just copied something. I guess I could have copied it from the other event sheet. So that's it. Now, let's suppose that you have, uh, that you want to be quite organized, that you want to have a uh, logic that you want to share in between different, uh, in, in between different event sheets and levels and things like that. So what if I create event sheet that I'm going to call just global uh, global variables global bars and here that's the only thing that I'm going to include global variable bar one and then I'm just going to copy paste and create create many that are just like bogus variables so how do I add this in here uh, on a, an event sheet that I want to use those global variables then I could just say add include event sheet and you can pick which one you want so that means that uh, and I'm going to do the same I'm going to copy paste it on the other one so what does what does this mean basically now in your event sheet one you're including everything that you have here in this other event sheet so it's including it's almost like if you had um, if you had um, like all this information here so it would be, it would be great for example I use it 
to uh, control pause so usually you have something like add event sheet like a pause game sometimes I also have uh, some event sheets that are just to control the um, how is it called uh, to control the main menu to control the UI you have many many of these and then uh, on different levels I can decide what to include uh, and it's obviously it's going to be a much shorter thing that you have here the only thing that I have to mention is that this uh, let's suppose this um, this include also uh, pause game for example also add to the number the count of events that you have here if you have a, a paid version of construct 2 that's not going to be a problem you just can add as many uh, events as you as you want but if you have a free version this could be a problem because then you are losing one event here so of course it would be much easier just to move all these variables here and then eliminate this include but hey that really depends on what you want to do and well the version that you have so that's really good um, what else can what else can I say so you can include other event sheets you can change the event sheet that you're pointing here to and uh, well basically what this include is that you can decide that a, a level or a layout could have more than one event sheet that, that is going to to affect the logic of, of the game um, apart from that I think the important thing to keep in mind is to duplicate uh, and that you can do the same thing also um, well no I think you cannot do that for event sheets you just have to but I don't see why you would like to duplicate especially if you have uh, uh, something like the include so well one of the things that I do and let me use it over here one drive I'm going to look for that uh, last thing before I finish this video is that I have this one this template that uh, I recreated so I think it was the people from Studio 12 that uh, posted this example on uh, some of the tutorials in um, well Construct2's main page uh, the Construct2 forums and, and I thought that it was really cool because they were using many things like dividing uh, you see here fades, the game UI, high score, pause, preloads, bars, everything in this case also Windows 8 that uh, in some cases I'm not using or in some other cases I am um, and then it made everything much easier so for example in my uh, game you see that I'm including all these elements and it's really easy to take them away or to add them and that means that the game itself can be really simple that I only I add here the logic for the game nothing else of course this is not really a great uh, template because the entire point of it is to uh, just work as a placeholder and you see here that uh, you can start again and uh, well there's not not much there that you have to add but that's that's kind of it so a little bit you could see that I was checking the uh, Sierra forums and, and that's pretty much it what I wanted to 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 tell you so I hope you liked the video, it was a short one, but uh, I hope that it was useful.